Hi, I'm Eva, a Koai Tagas Spain Pero Ang Puso Koai Pinay. And this time I would love to take you with me to a very special place, Ballet. I lived here in 2015 and ever since it's my Filipino home. I always try to come back to visit my people. So join me to discover this jewel and let me show you what life here is like. So I'm on my way to Valer now and we just made our stop to have lunch. It always does it in the same place, so we're gonna have some food. So lunchtime, one of the most typical Filipino foods, like just like pork with egg and rice. Good morning! Now yes, first day in Baler, the place I consider like my Filipino hometown. Let me show you the most special place for me on this earth. This is the homestay where I'm staying this time. It's a beautiful day outside. Okay, let me show you my room. Let's go. So I'm just staying here alone, but I got the one with four bunk beds. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. And we even have a co-working space here in my homestay. Look how amazing. Here we have the Kubo, which is the traditional Filipino house. This is the street of my homestay. Look how cute. I just love Ballet. It's super chill, super beautiful. And this is just the Sabang area, which is like the beachfront kind of. But then there's like the whole town, which is called Bayan. Well, guys, I'm starting with my slow mornings that I love so much. I'm so slow that it's like 12.30 and I'm still starting my day now. I came to my favorite place for breakfast here in Ballet. It's the first place that I ever came to when I arrived here many years ago. Mango banana smoothie and here's my breakfast delicious burger with shrimps and this homemade potatoes chips so the local means of transportation here is the equivalent of tuk-tuk in Thailand but here it's called tricycle and it looks like this actually in the province you hardly see any cars like it's all tricycles like everybody has one it's also like the taxi so it's all about tricycles and motorbikes and i don't know but i find them super funny because they are tiny and i can hardly fit in them like for me it's super uncomfortable i have to be like with my head down and like <laughs> so I was, on my, I was on my way to the drugstore when I bumped into one of my friends. Here he is. He's selling his handmade jewelry. Hello. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Visit Valer. Yes, Valer is the best. He makes like these beautiful pieces. So if you ever come here, you have to find him and check them out. Dalawan taon din, Eva. Dalawan? Two years. Yes. Two years. Last time I was here was two years ago. That's last time we saw each other. And now I'm back and we had just like a... A spontaneous reunion here. Okay, so first things first, Mercury Drugstore. Philippine starter pack, sunscreen, and mosquito repellent. I'm on my way now to reunite with my friend Nicole. It was her birthday on Sunday, and she waited to celebrate it when I would be here. So we will celebrate it today. Yes, so beautiful, ma'am. Salam. Ah! <laughs> this is the cute baby of my friend Nicole. Hello. 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 So we're, we're in Kuya Lord's house, like to prepare the lunch for Nicole's birthday. Yeah. And what are we having? Longanisa. 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 And talong. Talong, which eggplant. is eggplant. Yeah, yeah, very Filipino. And then, oh, and fish. Well, no. And buko, which is like coconut. This is my favorite Filipino dish. Pancit, yummy. And here they have like a shop because here most houses like they also sell. They have their little stand. This is the Filipino tradition, like drinking gin. At what time it is? It's not even midday. It's like 12 or something like that. And yeah. they they drink it with water, right? Like first you drink that yeah. and then a shot of then water. water. Crazy Filipinos, what can I say? <laughs> At a fucking 12 midday. Show us uh -oh. how it's done. So... Oh, first the water, sorry, and then the gin. Yes. Oh, and then water again. Okay. <laughs> this is the plates. It's ready now. The girl, are ready to eat? <laughs> and the way we roll, of course, Filipino style, you eat with your own hands. So because of that, I have to leave the camera now. So see you after the lunch. Ate Mercy and Ate Rosalia. Nicole and baby. Hello. Tirando cuento, Marites, as they say in the Philippines, right? Yes, Marites. <laughs> Marites basically means like to gossip. A Marites is a gossiper, like someone who gossips a lot. And it's my favorite word in Tagalog, actually. I'm learning now a TikTok. And Ate has like the whole setup. She brought it with her. 
<laughs> like the tripod, even the ring light, that's insane. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, it's easy. Uh. Time. So we're in the beach now. Waves are not that great because it's kind of windy. But to learn, it's okay. We brought here the benches with us to watch at the surfing. <laughs> a beautiful ballet. I love this place with all my heart. This is Costa Pacifica, one of the fanciest hotels here on the beachfront. After a good surf, like time to have dinner in my favorite place, Yellowfin. This place is amazing. Basically, they grill the food for you in front of you. You can see how they grill it. Quality food. It's amazing. So every day I come here for dinner. And they even have live music sometimes. There we have like the food in the grill. Amazing. There we have the live performance. of course and tuna look at this it's fucking huge have you ever seen a japanese singing la bamba in spanish here you have it bamba. to hang out with my friends. I will take you with me and my gang here in Baler. We're gonna jam. This is what we used to do back in the day when I was living here, this was the plan. Because every Filipino knows how to sing, how to dance, and how to play a music instrument. That's how it is. Kuya Mike is famous in Baler, everybody knows him. We're going to buy the alcohol. This is the typical shop, like basically people have their house and they just set up their shop inside it. Pineapple. Uh, because I don't drink alcohol, we were trying to find green tea for me and it's a mission to find that in Baler, but success, we found it, so I already have my drink. Salamat po! I'm happy with my tea, finally! Thank you Kuyamai for driving me around just to find my tea. This is the place that I got my tea from, Gayuma. This one, pineapple juice, oh, this is the yeah. flavor of our drink today. Hi, tonight. Hi vlog, welcome to my guys. Yeah. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Oh! Hola, is that so strong? Cyan. Okay, okay. Kaya mo yan? Progress. <laughs> they say third time's the charm, so... Uh, yes. Cheers, everybody! Cheers! <laughs> After a whole night out hanging out, like, it's almost 6 a.m. It's daylight already. This is the only way you can get me to surf in the morning if we could, would go directly now. This is the restaurant where we just had our munchies meal. Kuya Mike, let's go surf now. Let's go surf. <laughs> let's go check. Anyway, so something about Filipinos, they all wake up at 5 a.m. to start their day, either to surf or to whatever. Like at 5 a.m. everybody's already out in the street. Okay, so we actually made it to the beach, but it's closed out, so not good wave, so... What do you think? Close eyes! <laughs> it's closed! Close eyes! It's... <laughs> the, afternoon, the afternoon wave is good. Okay. So now... You, 
you got luck. So basically, Kuya Mike and I were the only ones who were down for a morning surf now before going to sleep. He didn't want, so but somehow he came to check. Okay, so Sunny, you win. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> we will surf later. Kuya Mike is the best because he was down. <laughs> I usually start my days in Baylor, same place, same breakfast every day. So today I wanted to switch things up a little bit, so I came to Basin. It's also so super nice, guys. Like here we have today's breakfast. Look at this amazing view. And finally, the mango shake. Not bad at all. I feel like it's such a luxury to just be here having breakfast, writing in my diary while having this view. Wow. So this is how we roll. We are like driving. So basically there are no waves today in the afternoon because it's low tide so we decided to come to the skate park in Baler. It's a new construction, this didn't exist last time I came. So let me show you, by the way, disclaimer, I don't know how to skate. It's on the outskirts of Baler actually. This was our ride that we came in, waiting for the rest of the guys. You know how to skate. Magalinka. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, Ballet Skate Park. So many people, you guys, and everybody seems to know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm going to do here. So basically, we have the pros to this side, and then we turn around, and we have the mini skate park for beginners like me, I guess. So this is where we're going to stay. living in Baler back in the day in 2015 this is how I remembered it during the week it was not so busy but on the weekend because tourists from Manila would come it would be very crowded super lively the whole beachfront that was the vibe it was amazing and today it kind of reminds me of that it's not as crowded but compared to weekdays it is like you see different groups of people like just chilling just watching the surf I think it's just perfect because it gives it the enough amount of life but not too crowded. I feel like Ballet is one of the best kept secrets in the Philippines because it's not a rampage by mass tourism yet. I don't know, I feel kind of turned like posting this vlog. I just want Ballet to keep this essence that it has but at the same time locals also need tourism here right to survive so it would be for me unfair to gatekeep it so yeah. This is Valer, welcome to Valer. If you're like me, even if you're traveling, you might need to hit the gym from time to time. So I'm glad to tell you that in Valer there is one gym, only one, but it's actually very good. It's well equipped. I came here like nine years ago and I think it was the same one, but it was like way tinier, like super old machines, like it was not that good. But now it's, I must say that I'm surprised. So it's a really good place to train. The name is Pacific Gym, here we are. We have the functional training area here, look at this. And then like all the machines, more machines, some free weight area there. Upstairs you can even do boxing. Ready to go? Yeah. We're done. We're done with our training for today, so let's go. Okay, so I'm here chilling with my friends. Marlon. <laughs> and Ivan from Manila. Basically, he has a hot sauce business and he gave me a sample and it's amazing, so just let me show you. This is not paid promotion, but just because I really like this product. So, Iban chilies, hot sauce. Here we have it. Look how cool. You can use it with any foods you want. And look at the packaging, like it's super cute. So yeah, if you're in the Philippines, I really suggest you try it, because I know that you guys love sauce. Cheers. <laughs>
basically today we were in the lineup surfing and then someone called my name yeah, and so okay so tell the story it was like um eva hey and he, and eva said oh i know <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was i, I was having fun right now <laughs> which proves that i am local because i know means like what's in tagalog so like i just say it in an and autopilot what? like it's like oh i know like i don't even think about it like yeah. i'm just speaking a tagalog and what <laughs> yeah yeah like what like who's called like what like, yeah. and that's how you do it man yeah that's <laughs> how you become filipino <laughs> someone's calling hey boss oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get more Filipino than that, and, uh, basically. And, and. So that is my last night. We were yellowfin, and now we came to Hotspot to continue the party. Welcome to Hotspot. Welcome to the Yay. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome yes. to I love you, Emma. I love you too, Marika. So this is my Anak Patrick. Uh, I made him nine years ago when he was a kid. Now he's a man already. Guys, look at this. This is him and I there in the corner. Look how young. And now that, that was the before, this is the after week. Oh. Yes, we're creating the picture. Yeah. I'm getting so emotional. My son is already grown. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs>